Have you ever left a movie feeling completely transformed? Maybe you've adopted the personality of the film's main character, or your outlook on life has been completely changed. Regardless, cinema is undoubtedly one of the world's most popularized forms of media. The question is, how does cinema shape our behavior, and how does society affect cinema? Cinema plays a significant role in shaping the way society perceives various issues and events. The information communicated through popularized media outlets influences public opinion, beliefs, attitudes, and behaviors. For instance, the 1986 military film Top Gun caused a soar in Navy applicants. According to Fox News, the release of this movie created a 500% increase in applications from young men. Filmmakers among those who fund these productions possess the power to create both positive and negative impacts on society. At its best, media is a tool to educate, promote empathy, and inspire. On the reverse, it can unintentionally be used to spread misinformation and propaganda. Societal values can also influence media. Examining older movies like the films of Alfred Hitchcock serve as a sort of time capsule for the decade's core beliefs. The medium of film is meant to be a personal statement and a reflection of the creator. Yet finding the balance between maintaining authentic expression while factoring in the social responsibility of creating something that has the potential to influence a mouse amount of people is a dilemma that artists have faced for decades. Overall, the relationship between media and society is complex and very interconnected, with each having the potential to shape and influence each other. Let us examine two deeper examples of the effects cinema has on human behavior and how societal values can sway cinema. Upon occasion, certain films have a greater impact on their audiences than what was initially intended. Such was the case with Steven Spielberg's Jaws, an adaptation of Peter Benchley's novel of the same name, in which a great white shark is hunted by a small group of locals for killing and terrorizing residents of a beachside town in New England. Following the blockbuster's release in 1975, the world's outlook on sharks became one of absolute, all-encompassing fear. In an article by the Washington Post, Chris Lowe, director of the Shark Lab at California State University at Long Beach, said the movie caused people to view sharks as malicious towards humans. This would lead to an increase in shark fishing tournaments with little to no resistance from the public. So, the creatures became overfished with the belief they were a menace to humankind. A 2022 report by the Florida Museum of Natural History found that sharks only killed nine people worldwide five of which were assigned as unprovoked. Not quite the death toll you'd expect from a notoriously evil animal. According to a study by Nature, the world's leading multidisciplinary science journal, the Earth's population of sharks and rays between 1970 and 2018 diminished by 71%. Spielberg has since admitted to feeling regretful of the worldwide impact Jaws has had on sharks. Even to this day, with the many films featuring deranged and ravenous great whites, these fish continue to be viewed negatively in our collective imagination. Their continued overfishing and looming extinction are a perfect, albeit tragic, example of the influence Hollywood and the media hold on their gigantic audience, aka society. Now that we've seen how society has been influenced by great whites, how do you think they've been influenced by whites who thought they were great? Another example of cinema shaping social behavior for the worse is the 1915 film The Birth of a Nation. This film, which was advertised as being the mightiest spectacle ever produced, was allegedly full of rich historical value, is actually a heinous propaganda film that vilifies black people and gave way to a massive resurgence of KKK members. In fact, the KKK potentially would not have survived the early 1900s if it weren't for The Birth of a Nation, and it is also the reason that they are as recognizable as they are now. It was not until after the release of the film that they began wearing the white hoods that have become inextricably linked to them, nor were they the infamous hate group before that they are now. Unfortunately, it gets worse. This film caused racial violence and inflamed hateful beliefs, according to a Harvard research paper by Desmond Ang. Ahead of the film's complete release, it was shown to individual counties across the United States. Ang analyzed a roadmap of these early showings and came to several startling conclusions. In counties that were shown the film versus counties that were not, lynchings increased by five times and they were three times more likely to start their own clavern. A clavern is a local branch of the KKK. He then looked at our modern day society and realized that these counties which were shown the film still have higher rates of hate crimes against black people and are more likely to have a clavern. 
So think about that for a moment. The Birth of a Nation, which is a film that came out over 100 years ago, can be traced to anti-black crimes happening today. In summary, cinema is a powerful force. It can shape beliefs, attitudes, and behaviors in ways that not only impact our personal lives, but society as a whole. Depending on the intention, the impact of movies on society can be both positive and negative. Both Jaws and The Birth of a Nation demonstrate how cinema can influence the way we view and interact with the world around us. Despite some of the consequences being more severe than others, it is important to acknowledge how the media we have consumed has strongly contributed to our personality and belief system. So, what can we learn from this? Is film yet another thing corrupted by propaganda? Not if we try and analyze it. As viewers, we must remember to consume media through a critical lens. When you sit down and watch a movie, pay attention to how you respond to the presented themes. By examining the mutually complex relationship between media and society, we can better comprehend how the world functions and work to create a more positive and inclusive future through creative expression.